Hey, so um, today I woke up and the tinnitus was gone. So I guess that's the end of this channel. No, just kidding. <laughs> I still got it. Um, yeah, so I was just reading some of the comments here. It looks like um, just sitting in silence and taking a nap or and letting it ring for a while and being able to handle it is what George Castaneda said. Yeah, Castaneda. And um, yeah, that that's one where like, when I reached the point where I could be in silence and hear the tinnitus and be okay with it, like, I felt like that was a step forward for me. I don't really like doing it. If I can have a sound in the background, it's, it's sort of better, you know, for me. But just the idea, like, Meditating on the tinnitus and being in a silent place and hearing it. I remember I was watching some guy who's supposed to be a great tinnitus guru. And he had this special meditation where you sit there and you relax and you breathe. And, and I was like, oh, I hate this. <laughs> this is terrible. Why would anyone want to meditate on tinnitus? I mean, this <laughs> is totally awful. What are you doing, dude? You're not helping me at all. <laughs> so you get my point. Hopefully you get my sense of humor. Um, but what, what is it? Why would you want to meditate on tinnitus? You know, I, I don't think you want to meditate on it so you can be in a silent room more often or so you can just always be, be in silence and always hear the tinnitus. Because I don't think I don't I don't know anyone who quite makes it completely go away like that, but the the idea of sitting and listening to it and then being able to have pleasant thoughts about it, that's the catch. If you can do that, then that's pretty cool. Then you can maybe lay down and take a nap and listen to it. And not even worry about it, even in silence. Not that you want to do that. But I, I, I kind of feel like you don't want to try to meditate on tinnitus and sit there and, you know, close your eyes and breathe and, you know, maybe focus on some other thing and see if you can get your mind off of it. It's, that's okay. I think that's a, actually a powerful thing to do. So uh, let's talk about that for just a moment. Um, when you meditate... Um, you can find a position where I would suggest having a good posture. Um, why have a good posture? Well, it's good for you for one. And secondly, it's something to focus on besides your tinnitus. So, so you sit there and you have a nice, good posture. And then you can do things like think about different things that take your focus onto something. For example, I'm going to close my eyes. And I feel my eyelids. I'm just very aware of them, how they feel, having been closed, the feeling of my eyelids. And um, then I, I also notice, I, I can feel my feet on the ground. I've placed my feet flat on the ground. I, I can feel how they're touching the ground, uh, each toe, one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> and, uh, you know, on each foot and the, even the, the, the middle of the foot and the heel touching the ground. I can feel my clothes on my body. Mm, I feel like my shirt on my shoulders. Do you see what I'm doing here, though? I'm just thinking about something and and take maybe some people like to do like a body scan where you just go through and you, you just you don't spend too much time on any one part of the body, but you kind of feel each part of the body. You know, and um, it's just something to think about besides your tinnitus. And maybe you can even think about relaxing different parts of your body. Maybe you have some tight muscles, things like that. I think that's great. You know, another strategy with, with, with meditating would be you do have a little bit of a sound in the background and you do sit there and you try to really hear just that sound in the background. And you, you, it could be a sound that changes might be a little bit more interesting. Maybe it's like some birds, uh, tweeting or, um, you know, a, a waterfall or nature with, you know, just a stream running where the, sa the sound's changing a little bit and you kind of 
kind of move with the sound and you, you hear how it changes. You know, that, that's an interesting thing just to kind of learn. You're, what are you doing? You're training yourself to be able to let your attention go into something um, besides your tinnitus, you know. So that's something you can do. I, I've never been that great of a uh, meditator. Um, and probably that's me saying that. I probably could be good at meditating. But I, I, I have learned a lot about putting my attention on something and, and then being good at that, which is a, a form of meditation. Yoga is a, is a great form of meditation. Like they have, a, I'm not a professional yogi either, but they have the thing with, what do you call that special breath they have? Whatever you call that. You know what I'm talking about? And like you're breathing and you're keeping a very constant breathing where it's like maybe six seconds in or I don't know how many seconds in and six seconds out and at the same time going through your yoga poses. So that's like a form of meditation where you're getting your, your brain really in tune to the flow of the yoga. And, and maybe watch a video even if, if you can't remember what to do. I cert certainly wouldn't know what to do. But it's like it's just something where you get your mind on doing it. Um there's, med there's moving meditations. So, for example, um, you could find a, a video of the cha-cha-cha. And, uh, you know, I, I could teach you the cha-cha-cha. Would you like to see it real quick? Why not? Why not? I'll do the cha-cha-cha for you. So, so, you know, maybe I should do it from this angle. So you, you, take a, um, you take a back step on your right foot, two, three, and then you do a cha-cha-cha. And then a forward step on your left foot, two, three, cha-cha-cha, two, three. Three, cha cha cha, two, three, cha cha cha, and what what's happening there? You're focusing your attention on the dancing uh, and remembering the pattern and putting your foot in the right place. Maybe you're having a good posture while you do it. And uh, these are all just forms of moving your attention into something. And uh, this is what you may lack sometimes when you are. Um, you know, experiencing tinnitus, thinking about it a lot. So when we say the word meditate, for me, it means a way of putting your attention into something and, and developing the brain's ability to do that. Um, it could be, for me, writing uh, um, some Chinese characters in a sentence format over and over again and remembering how each one's supposed to be written. And, and I, I get into the, the process of writing each character so I remember, you know, how to write it and not forget the sentence or, you know, write each character the correct way, you know, with the right pattern. So that, that's kind of something interesting. Like, I'll show you, you know, just, um, I think I could do it from this angle. So, so like, if, if I want to write some Chinese here, I think I can, can I get the angle right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is maybe like... Um, uh, wo, uh, she, uh, Juan, ni. You can kind of see it. But, you know, I like you, is what I said. But, you know, like, that's just a form of getting your brain onto something. So I, I love languages for that reason, you know, writing sentences, saying sentences. Memorizing songs and learning how to sing them and then focusing on the tones as you do it. So there's like an ever uh, de uh, increasing development of something that you do. If it's the dance step, first you learn the step and then you learn some of the techniques to make it a good step. And then you work on your posture and your expression uh, in, the, in the writing. It's you know, a similar thing. You first you learn how to write some of the characters, then you put them into a sentence and then you write them neater and you're, you know, things like that. And uh, then you start to express yourself in that other language and through writing. And... Uh, uh, singing, you know, you you um, you learn to the, you first learn the words, and then you learn the, the the notes, and then you there's a there's increases in loudness and softness and emotional expression and when to breathe. See, all these things are going on at the same time, and your brain is really powerful. It can do that, <laughs> but it takes like a a layering of of things before you can sing the song very well, or you can dance the dance very well, or you can write in the language, you know. So think about that as sort of a form of meditation. In yoga, I guess you could do better stretches. I, I, I'm not, I'm pretty flexible, I guess. But 
not like some of the yoga people, they can do you know all kinds of stuff. But you see that ever increasing layers of development of your of your of your mind and and its ability to send signals through your body to create the result that you want can take some development over time. So you can, in a sense, decide you're going to meditate on something, whether that be in silence or on a sound or on the feeling of your body or. Um, that, I think the feeling of the body and meditating on the sound and, 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 and your breath and things like that are on the, on the very basic level, the, the root level of learning to get your attention uh, you know, into, into something and let your brain go into that. But you could also let your brain go into dancing, you know, into, into playing a musical instrument. You know? And um, so think about that. You know? that that's, that's what tinnitus is sort of interrupting for you. So you've got to, you've got to reset that and you, you, you're you going to have to learn to, to bring your attention into that thing that you want to do and develop it and put layers in it. And then your brain starts to make the connections and the, create the muscle memory, the, 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 the thoughts of, of the techniques that you need while you're doing it. So you start to live inside that thing where you're, you're, you're thriving in that dance or in that whatever you're doing, playing that instrument. So think about how you can develop some things like that where you really get your attention into it and and do that every day I, I told you I think I said before I drew a lot uh, when I when I had tinnitus and some other problems too and I got to be pretty good at drawing I, I, I kind of quit now and I, I don't miss it too much but I, I could do it again if I wanted to there's just some other things I'd rather do um, but drawing's another one you know uh, and you can buy the supplies that you need to draw well, you know, and then maybe if you go ahead and make that investment today, you'll commit to uh, drawing better, you know. Um, so, so that's what I think of a, as meditation and how it could improve the situation you have with tinnitus, you know. Um, I say you know too much. I'm trying not to do that so much, <laughs> you know. Uh, so... Meditating on tinnitus, that's my topic today. I, I hope that this sort of gives you some good information that will help you uh, move your thoughts in the right direction. And uh, Okay, that's all for today. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.